It's TP in the place to be, man. Y'all gonna hit that like button, man. Y'all gonna subscribe, man. I'm making this one on my break, man. Yeah, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Um, yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Uh, today we're talking about Lil Dirk and uh, NBA Young Boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my opinion on who is somewhat winning the situation in terms of like uh, overall aspect, like looking at the whole grandeur of the situation, like who you know. We're just gonna break it down from there. So I, I'm gonna give y'all. I know y'all gonna be like, what? Because some of y'all are probably fans of the other the other person, but I think Lil Dirk is winning the situation. You know, how's he winning? You know, not from losing Vaughn. We'll 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 take that away from from them. But making the diss songs, um, FBG Ducks is is gone, unfortunately. But that gives Lil Dirk the ability to some have the ability to talk about it after his passing. And since he was like not had he didn't have something to do with it, but he knew the folks who had something to do with it, it makes them seem like they kind of getting business done in their own city, like kind of you know what I'm saying, knocking up ops. Now, granted, you know, you know, the old black guys got jammed up for that situation. Lil Dirk has um, you know, he's had more time to kind of um do a little bit more sneak dissing. Um, but he's, he can make it subliminal and make a good song. The thing about Lil Durk's songs, his songs seem a little more timeless in the, like, when it, in the grand scheme. Like, you can listen to Lil Durk's music from, from even back then. Now, a year ago, two years ago, you can listen to it, and he has a decent catalog. But NBA Youngboy, when he does make these diss songs, these songs are, people think these diss songs are so big, but they get, they get a lot of views in a short amount of time. But at, at the end of the day, the diss song will get forgotten after a while because, once the beef is forgotten about or the beef, something has changed in the beef, let's say people say they're not going to do something or talk about something, then that song no, no, is no longer relevant. But the song that Lil Durk makes, the song he made, Aha, um, like, I, I can listen to that song. I can actually listen to it. I like that song more than I like I Hate Youngboy. Youngboy doing all the, the, the um, dissing everybody, you know, dissing 4PF, dissing 21 Savage and them, dissing um, Gucci Mane, dissing Boosie. All he really doing is just shaking up the bag, you know, and everybody is just mad because they got, you know, they was in the bag getting shook up. It's it's cool, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not gonna um it's not going to be a very big pivotal moment in his career on an upward turn. So I, you know, I feel like Lil Dirk, he just still doing what he doing because he don't mention names. He can still kind of just get through, dance, shake around. He brought a million dollars to um to Chicago, you know, you know, real or fake money. You know, he brought that. He brought it to Chicago and he was um and he brought it back to the trenches. So he was kind of showing that he could get some still do some stuff. So, you know, his subliminal messages are gonna have to be looked at a little deeper than when when um when young boy said how he felt about, you know, everybody else, like about Gucci Mane, for instance, uh, you know, what he said about him. So, you know, you know, that's the, that's kind of the reason why I feel like I would feel the way I feel about the situation. Um, you know, there's not a real winner right now cause stuff's still going on, but young boy was like under house arrest and Dirk could kind of move around at one point and move around and, his team can move around and stuff. So, you know, a whole lot of stuff that's happened behind the scenes on the 4KT count. And so you stuff has, you know, it's just, it might not be good have beefing with everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? You might not, you might have issues with people, like with with people out there. Like not everybody you're going to be going against is all going to be weak. So, you know, um, we're just going to see as the situation keeps unfolding. We're going to see where NBA Youngboy takes it. We're going to see where Lil Durk takes it. Hopefully Lil Durk can stick to just, um, you know, keeping it subliminal, not mentioning the names. You know, his music, you know, I can't lie. I like I like Lil Durk's music when it comes to the choice of it. So, you know, um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Y'all let me know um, who y'all think is kind of winning this situation. Like who who is kind of getting more who is who has more grounds in the situation who who because in my opinion I just don't I don't know how NBA YoungBoy would have the grounds because 
He was literally on court order. He was in jail for a good amount of time. He was in court order for a good amount of time. And before then, he wasn't even dissing Lil Durk. So it seemed like King Von passed away due to, you know, pretty much not even like no just ult ultimate gangster stuff. It was just like a situation where King Von got the best of Quando. Quando didn't get him. It was somebody else on the team who got him in um that had nothing to do with young boy. I think like that really had nothing to do with young boy when it comes down to like even being around. He wasn't even there. Like he was probably in Baton Rouge at the time. So like at the end of the day, it's like for y'all to be chanting about all that King Von stuff, it don't make y'all look cool. It don't make y'all look tough. It don't make y'all look like y'all really about it. All y'all doing is what the dudes in Chicago did were already doing. And it's a little different when you kind of closer to who you beefing with. When you beefing with somebody states and states and states away, states away, it just don't hold as much weight, not in my opinion. Because, like, even if you let able to go to the store, you're not going to run into them. They're not going to run into – they're not going to go to Utah to the same Walmart you go to and get the same – no, you, that's not happening. So all that dissing, it's better to di – it seems better when you diss and have the ability to possibly run up on them. That's just kind of the nature of it, you know. You can't diss somebody and be at the house all day, like, because then they're going to say you're scared to come outside. So, like, or you can't come outside. So, y'all see my take on the situation, man. Y'all go ahead and drop a comment in the comment box, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation, man. Y'all, 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 um, go ahead and, uh, say how y'all feel. I understand that nobody really wins in situations like this. It's not really a big winner because people lose on both sides. But since they are beefing right now, you know who is kind of having the biggest stake in the situation? Y'all let me let me know. Uh, y'all let me know. Um, but y'all go ahead and hit that like button, man. I appreciate everybody who's already subscribed, man. Y'all go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell so y'all can get all the post notifications when I drop. And uh, y'all have a good rest of y'all's week, man. I'm gonna see y'all later.